Hey everyone, Brian here again. Got another video here. This one's going to be another unboxing. Uh, same thing, got these pretty much uh, throughout the week. Uh, waited to get these uh, all in before I open them up so um, you guys can kind of see what, what I got in. See what kind of condition they, they are in. This one right here uh, is a really good one, but it looks like uh, the box was damaged a little bit on the way in, so hopefully nothing happened to it. So, also another thing here, I got a, actually this one I showed last week. Let me scoot this up a little bit. This one I showed last week, this is one I had issues with. Uh, I contacted the seller, and he had this one graded at an 8.5 or labeled at an 8.5 on his description. I got it in and I kind of showed some of the uh, some of the items that I thought would knock it down to probably a 7.0. The guy wanted me to send it back, which was no big deal. I said, I'll send it back, but you know, you got to pay for the return shipping because you know, you overgraded this comic. I'm not going to be out five bucks to send it back to you. Well, he didn't want to do that, so I, I went through eBay and they actually, today I just found out they reimbursed me for the comic and the return shipping, or not the return shipping, but the original shipping price that I paid for, so. You know, I've, I've had that happen one other time. Uh, it's usually on the lower price items. I mean, I didn't pay too much for this one, so I think eBay decided that it wasn't worth the hassle of actually returning this thing. But, yeah, this is one I showed last week that was, as you saw, the dings and everything in it. But, all right, first item here. Actually, I got some of the really good ones in here on Monday. And it kind of sucks because I didn't want to open things up throughout the week. I kind of like to wait till I get everything in and, and do a little bit of an unboxing thing here. I know some people um, don't really care to watch somebody open a box, but I kind of enjoy it when I see somebody opening an item on, on uh, YouTube there. I'm kind of like, oh, cool, that's what they got. So... This one right here, this is Avengers number 134. This is the origin of Vision. Um, so yeah, this one I only paid a couple bucks for, I think five bucks. So, I mean, it's, you know, nothing special, but origin of or, uh, Vision. And it's not in bad shape. Looks like it's got a little bit of an overwrap there. So I'll get a chance to look at it a little bit better. I can, actually, I can kind of see a... See a color break crease right here, but what about what I paid for it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the hassle and cry about it. No big deal. This one right here. Daredevil number 25. This is her first appearance of Leapfrog. Um, old early edition, Silver Age of, of Daredevil. I think he had this one at a, a 6.5 or something like that. And it don't look too bad. From what I can kind of see, I haven't looked at the back yet, but I can kind of see a color break up here, but nothing. From the front of it, it, it looks like a pretty decent comic, but yeah, Daredevil number 25, first appearance of Leapfrog. This one right here, I got, this is the same person I got my Superboy first Bizarro comic from. This is at Greg's Reese Comics, and he, grades, or he ships these things usually pretty good, and you can kind of see this one. And this is just raw comics. There's... This is not a CGC, but he's got the, the peanuts in it. Yeah, he doesn't. I'll have to get my wife to clean that up. But, yeah, as you can see, boxes it up. And they don't charge any outlandish fees for shipping. I mean, it's usually... Uh, I think about six bucks for shipping on something like this, so. I know when I get stuff from him, it's, 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 uh, 
gonna come ship pretty good but the box was a little dented but what do you do with the post office go postal I guess yeah, all right. that's when I got two of them from him and the first one is Avengers number 50 Silver Age comic um, I think he had this one at a 602. It looks it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks nice white colors. Another Silver Age. Um, this one is the reason I picked it up. This is Doctor Strange number one. Uh, and for some reason, I haven't picked this one up until now. But I've got her now. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. I don't see, as of right now, anything wrong with it. But yeah, Doctor Strange, number one. Here's another one. Like they got that one box pretty good too. Decent amount of cardboard. Taped up pretty good. This is Defenders number 27. And this one's got the cameo. The cameo of uh, Starhawk. And I think Defender 28 is the first appearance. Yeah, this has got the no first appearance of Starhawk, and I think the 28 was the first cover or something like that. But yeah, I saw this one on one of the websites that I go to. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape, but can't really tell until I get it out of the out of the bag there. Here, this she taped up pretty good. Yeah, like I said, that comic I got here, I got it in Monday. The one I've been waiting on, I got it in Monday, and I was like, shit. Well, they didn't even put a backing board on this one. Well, this is nice. This is a nice way to send a comic. There we go. Yeah, this is something you put a binder in. Nice job. This is Flash number 128, first Abracadabra. But for as shitty as the packaging was, I mean, it actually is not too bad from what I see so far. Oh, it's got some stuff down here. A little staining there in the corner. And I saw this in the picture when I got it, so that's that I knew it was on there, but I just can't believe they sent it in this. That's the way to keep people buying your comics. What an idiot. Oh well. Alright. This one right here. This one's boxed up pretty good too. And they got it in a little grocery bag. I try to open these things up as quick as possible. I know it's kind of boring to sit there and watch somebody open a comment or a box, but I kind of enjoy it when I see people open their stuff. I was kind of like, oh shit, that's what you got. Sweet. All right, here we go. After all that fiasco. All right. 
this is one of my the last three I've got here is uh, one of the uh, the nicer ones that I've bought but let me pull this one out real quick because this guy had this at a 9.0 I paid a decent amount of money for it but I can kind of see right now this is definitely not a 9.0 I don't know if you can see that or not this crease that runs all the way down that damn thing or across it so this one I'm gonna have to contact him about this is definitely not a 9.0 I think that guy might, might have been smoking something but yeah that right there that's 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 a little too much especially for what I paid for this even if something like this up here that wouldn't bother me you know a little ink mark but and he's got two big creases down here in the back you can kind of see that now in the light but like I said if, if I got this thing pretty dirt cheap you know hey I could bite the bullet on it but for what I paid for it the guy had it listed on a 9.0 and I don't know if you guys know what this one goes for at a 9.0, but what I paid for it, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to contact him on that. But first hate monger, a little disappointed in that one. Hopefully, these other ones ain't going to be like that. I guess packaged pretty good too though. Looks like this one came in one of the, the hard plastics. Which it did. Which is good. Because uh, this one's a... Uh, I sit there and, and this guy had this thing listed for a while. And I did the checking on it to see how many times he listed it. And nobody was, it was a, a make an offer type deal on it. And um, there's like three times I made him an offer. And he would counter offer and it was just like, dude, you're still asking way too much for that damn thing. It actually wasn't because the other ones that were selling, I don't know why nobody bid on it or made an offer on it. But I was like... He actually sold it to me a hundred dollars less than what he was asking for his uh for his buy it now price. So let me get through all this stuff here. And here it is. This is Detective Comics with 298. This is a first silver age appearance of Clayface. And he had this one labeled at a 7-0. And just kind of glancing at it real quick. If the back is like the front here, then we got a couple break there, break there, but everything was in the picture and there's a break up here, but nothing significant. So, like I said, if the back looks as good as the front here, I'd be happy with that. Yes, yeah, so that's the old Detective Comics 298. And this one right here, this one I had been waiting to get and waiting to get. But people were asking retarded amounts of money for it. So I was like, well, I'll wait, I'll wait till somebody's not so retarded about the prices. And they actually put one up for auction. And I was like, sweet. So I happened to bid. And I want it. So, this is what I want. Like I said, this box was the one that was dented up. Let me kind of see if you can see it here. Oh, this is the way it came in, all dented up. But it is a CGC. So I'm hoping uh, I won't have any issues. I've got it covered pretty good. And it looks like nothing is cracked. Let me 
it's on the case there, so. But this is it. This is, let me back it up here a little bit. This is Batman number 121. Every store I've, I've gone to, uh, even that place in Milwaukee, the guy that I was telling you about early, in one of my earlier videos, uh, that had all of his Silver Age comics down in the basement, he didn't have this one. He had everything but this one. And like I said, I'd go on, on eBay, Craigslist, and everywhere trying to find this comic. But ev like I said, everything was pretty much a buy it now. And I was like, fuck, that's retarded. So this one right here, like I said, came up for bid. Um, had a couple bids on it, but I was able to get the last one in right before it closed. And I am glad to get this one. This is the first appearance of Mr. Zero. Well, back in the day it was Mr. Zero, but now he's known as Mr. Freeze. Like I said, Batman 121. This is 1959 Batman comic. But I just love the cover on this. I mean, the old nostalgic covers. I mean, it's just... You can't beat them. I mean, I think the people can draw better today. But when you get something so basic that looks so good, I mean, it just... To me, this right here, I'm glad I picked up. And I've been wanting to get this, so... That's all I've got for now. I know I said it more than a couple of times already, but I'm going to try to do another video where I got my collection going. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll make another one here, hopefully here this weekend. So, see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.